Hey guys and gals, Otto here. So here we have a brand new brig, level 1. Um, we will level it up as we go as if this ship was going out for the very first time. Uh, and we also have four cargo containers on it. Um, this is the part 2. Uh, this one's filled with wood. This one's filled with uh, stone pillars. Um, they're all max weight. The container will not take anymore. This one is half thatch and half stone, but it, you can see here weight 1600, and so that's the max weight of a container. It's either 100 slots or 1600 pounds, whichever comes first. Okay, um, this one over here has got metal in it. Notice it's a lot less metal, but that's all you can carry in metal when you to hit 1600 pounds. Normally it would be 8,000 pounds, okay, but it decreases the weight by 80%. And so you actually have 8,000 pounds here, but you're only carrying, it shows up on the ship as 1,600 because the cargo carriers decrease the weight. Okay. Um, so this is a brand new brig again. So we're going to go out and see if we can escape. It's not really so much, uh, well, it's both the ship as the dam and the whales. We're trying to see if we can get away from, um, and the goal is to put the speed sail into the red and still get away with the handling sails. So really, this is more a handling sail test. Um, although you do get a little bit of speed off the speed sail, even when it is in the red. So we can't negate that. So let's see what we run into out here. So you're pretty much going to have 1,600 pounds times 4. Okay, so you're going to have 6,400 pounds on the ship um, from your cargo containers if they're all on and they're all full. Okay, but the ship weighs 8,650 because I have like 300 pounds in those back cabinets and the ship itself has weight. You know, all the pieces that are on it. And this is pretty much as basic as you're going to get. There is a lower deck down there, but there's nothing down there. There's not even guns on the ship. So let's see if we can get within range to aggro one of these. Um, and then try to pull away. I think it's safer to aggro the schooner. Yeah, she's not very fast at all. But she's she's weighed down a lot, so this is like a serious haul here. But we're gonna take the weight increase because we need it. Okay, in her current shape, it looks like she's barely getting away. And this is with all of them with good wind. So I think what's holding her back right now is the percentage of weight. I think if you leveled it up some before you take it out on a serious trip like this, you'd probably be better. Um, you know, get it up to like level 10 or 20. Get you some resistance on there. Get you some, uh... Um... Some more extra weight on the ship so that it's quicker. Your cargo carriers do take damage, by the way. Alright, 
here we go. Let's see what we get here. And you gotta be careful about your cargo haulers. Um, because they've only got 16,000 HP. Um, and I've seen them fall off before from taking too much damage. Okay, I'm slowly pushing this into the wind more and more to get that sail red. And it looks to me like the killer whale is catching up. Um, yeah, the killer whale is catching up. So I'm going to say that this would not pass the test unless it had more weight on it leveling up. Um, it's only a level 2. It's a brand new ship. So again, I'm going to recommend you do something like this. Um, I recommend handling sails. Either that or you better make sure you have 100% wind. Um, because if you get caught in the red one time with a serious threat behind you in the tundra um, with your speed sails, it's likely to get you sunk. Um, so I recommend the handling sails because they will pull you through even when you have bad wind on this speed. Um, so what I seen in this test was that uh, you need to level your ship up more. It needs more weight. This percentage needs to be lower. Um, right now it's probably pushing somewhere between 55 and 65 percent. Yeah, probably between 60 and 70 percent of its max weight and so you want to get that lower and the best way to get that lower is by uh, adding weight here when you level up so I wouldn't do this with a brand new brig uh, it'd probably be okay once you get some levels under it um, or you can just run three speed sails you know and go like the wind but you're always going to be stuck with the wind and y'all know sometimes the wind is like the enemy out there um, sometimes the wind turns off and you're stuck because you can't get good wind and the only way to do it is to tack and then you got to go you know 45 degrees off angle and uh, that'll take you sometimes far out your way so it just depends on what you want to do alright this is part two of the cargo hauler uh, sail configuration test we'll see you in the next